a paranormal investigator is pretty tough. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, something really weird happens, and you've got to start all over. In Zach File Gender Bender Dash Nail Polish, we face one of life's truly insoluble mysteries. Girls. What do I think about boys? Oh, you mean besides the fact that they're thoughtless, impulsive, irresponsible, and completely selfish? You really think so? Absolutely. Who needs them? Oh no, look at the time. I have to go. Hey, wait, where are you going? I've got a date with a really nice boy. Boys just don't get it, you know. Take Zach, for instance. He's great and all, but he's an only child and he lives with his dad. He thinks girls are one of those mysteries in life, like the pyramids or soy milk ice cream. Okay, so I called Sarah up and told her I'll be there at 7 o'clock. Now, to me, that means I'll pick her up at 7 o'clock. To her, that means I'll be there at 7 and wait around till she gets ready to go at 8. I mean, how's anybody supposed to understand that? Talk about being condemned to hard labor. Mr. Monk says it builds character. <laughs> then he should have picked Vernie. Yeah, give the character building to somebody who needs it. What is taking so long? They're heavy. Guys, these books have to be in the library before school starts. If you're in such a hurry, why don't you help? OK, fine, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, why don't you grow up? It's not that funny. You try falling when you're wearing a skirt. Seeing as how I don't wear a skirt, the chances of me falling in one are pretty slim. Ew, someone forgot his deodorant this morning. I've been working hard. And it smells like it. Oh no, I am never letting my dad go shopping again. Girl power, for the real woman in you. Hey, it sounds perfect, Zach. You're gonna smell so nice. I don't think so. Okay, but it's gonna be a long, hot day. To deodorize or not to deodorize? That is the question. Girl power. No way. Here, this is the boys' locker room. Spence, come on, it's me. Okay, you're you, and I'm Cam. Camden Levy. So, what's your name? Get serious, Cam. I'm Zach. You're Zach? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Is this some kind of joke you and Zach cooked up? Because if it is, it's not funny. Mr. Monk walks through that door, we're gonna get about a year's worth of detentions. And we're kind of maxed out in detentions right now. But, guys, you don't understand. It was the deodorant. Until Zach was a nice try. But. Hey, uh, maybe we can get together sometime. Oh, whoa! I'm sorry if I scared you. Um, I'm Gwen. Can I help you with something? No, I'm just looking for Zach. Really? You know, you kind of look like him. Yeah, yes I do. I'm his cousin, Zena. What? I didn't know they had a girl cousin. Uh, no, neither did he until now. But he does, me. Oh, okay, well, it's nice to meet you, Zena. Wow, amazing. She's beautiful. So, um, how long are you staying with Zach? I don't know. It already seems like it's been forever, though. Well, I'm having some friends over tomorrow night. Would you like to come? No, no, sorry, I can't. Zach's been really sick. What do you mean, sick? I just saw him. Um, it was really sudden. Instant, in fact. I'm here to pick up his homework. Oh, okay. Well, if he's sick, why would you want to hang around there? You could get sick, too. Yeah, but... Uh, you know what? I'll phone Zach's dad if you want. I'm sure he won't mind. No! No. It's okay. I'll come. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, and um, don't forget your nightie. My nightie? Yeah, it's a pajama party. Jennifer, I am not that self-involved. I'm very observant. I don't miss a thing. Including your lovely new haircut. 
didn't get a haircut? Oh, you got highlights. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> you see, I don't miss a thing. <laughs> oh, Zach, uh, Sarah's been calling for you. Um, I can't talk to her, Dad. I lost my voice. Okay. Anyway, Jen, like I said, your hair looked fantastic. It, it, it looked like you spent a hundred bucks. Guys, not cool. It's okay. I know who you are. You do? That's great. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. Oh, paranormal to the max. Well, not exactly paranormal. Just bad manners. I've no clue why Zach didn't introduce us. I am Zach. No, you're Zena, Zach's cousin. Gwen told me. No, no, I made that up. Zena isn't real. I'm Zach. <laughs> a girl with a sense of humor. I like that. I'm not a girl. You're not funny. Do you know that girl? Maybe. Why? Can you fix me up with her? We gotta stop meeting like this. Especially in this room. Look, I have just as much right to be here as you guys. This is the boys' locker room, so technically you don't. Technically, I am a boy. I'm Zach. Well, technically, you have certain qualities that Zach lacks. Okay. Spence, who besides Zach would know that you slept with a stuffed rabbit until last year? Well, pretty much everybody, because Zach couldn't keep his mouth shut. All right. Cam, I was there when Karen dumped you. You drank a six-pack of Coke and ate eight bags of chips. She didn't dump me. It was, it was mutual, sort of. I was just hungry that night. And besides, it was the pizza place. Anybody could have seen. Okay, deepest, darkest secret. Zach, I, I mean, I mean, me. I have a complete and total crush on Miss Arlington. Oh, come on, Zena. Everybody in school knows that. They do? Okay, okay, Vernon's Locker, Jello and Three Dead Fish. Zach told you about that? He wouldn't. We swore we'd never tell a soul. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It is me. Zach? It really is you. You look a lot better as a girl. And man, this isn't helping me out, buddy. Oh, man, this is gonna make a great Zach fall. This is incredible. Are you experiencing hot flashes? Spence, how old do you think I am? It was just a question. Are you guys gonna help me or what? Yeah, come on, let's go to the lab. Zena! Zena, I've been looking everywhere for you. You have? This is for you. You've got to be kidding me. It's to where when we go out. We're not going out. Yes, we are. Cam set it up. There's no way I'm going out with Vernon. You have to. He promised to talk his dad into building a brand new basketball court for the school if you do. You sold me out for a basketball court. What kind of a girl do you think I am? Wait, forget I said that. I'm not doing it. I won't go. Come on, Zena. A basketball court. Consult your inner true Zach self. Date Bernie. I can do a lot better than him. Spence, work fast. Here, let me carry that for you. Uh, one book? I think I can handle it, Vernon. Good. I love a strong woman. So you ready for our big night? I'm not going. But you have to. Cam agreed. Cam agreed? So why don't you go out with Cam? We're all going out for pizza together. You, me, Cam, Sarah. Sarah? Sarah's going? But she's going out with me. I mean, with my cousin, Zach. He hasn't been around in a while. So? He's been sick. It doesn't mean it's open season on his girlfriend. I don't get what she sees in that loser anyway. Sorry. Oh, that's it. I'm going. You don't know how happy that makes me feel, Zena. I'm going to get you the best pizza money can buy. I can't believe what girls have to put up with. There's nothing going on between Sarah and me. Of course. If you don't come, who knows what might happen? Huh. Don't even think about it. I'll be there. That was the plan. Okay, guys, you gotta get Zach ready for the sleepover. 
What are you talking about? I'm not going to the sleepover. You have to. You can do research on the female psyche, Zach. Think of science. No, forget the science. Think of the girls. You're invited to a sleepover, Zach. A sleepover. And you're going as a girl. Now, how many chances like this do you think you're going to get? I'll go get my pajamas. No, no, that's only the beginning. I did some research. My second cousin, Phoebe, gave me everything you'll need. One flannelette nighty, a pair of fuzzy slippers, one stuffed toy, three different colors of nail polish, and this. It's an eyelash curler. She said it's essential. And so is this. Cotton puff balls? What are they for? I don't know. Phoebe had to go babysitting before she could tell me. There's got to be like 300 in there. 300? What could they possibly do with 300 cotton puff balls? So, tell me. Have you kissed Vernon yet? Stop twitching. Hmm, I guess that would be a no. What's going on with you two anyway? Us? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Then why are you going out with him? I don't know. It just sort of happened. Oh, don't you hate the way the guys just assume things? I mean, you say something nice and then suddenly their male ego takes over. They think that you're madly in love with them or something. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. And the way that they care so much about how we look, but they don't even care about their appearance. At least Cam makes an effort. But Zach, I mean, do you think that he could tuck his shirt in once in a while? Well, you know, uh, actually, I think Zach's kind of cool. Hmm. I admire family loyalty. Um, you know what? You're right not to shave fine hair like yours. It'll just grow in thicker. But don't worry, I have just the thing. What is that? Egyptian leg wax. It rips hair right out from the roots for a totally smooth finish. It'll be fun. You have no idea. It was torture. And what's worse, I have to do it again tomorrow night. Why? Because Gwen's doing my makeup for the date with Vernon. I can't do it myself. You can't? No. We're going somewhere nice. I have to look good. Why? You wouldn't understand. It's a girl thing. Spence, did you find anything? Please tell me you found something. Sorry, the deodorant doesn't appear to have any unique characteristics. It says it lasts 24 hours. It's already been a lot more. Maybe it has added staying power. One time I don't want extra protection, I get it. Ow! Relax. You know, I kind of like my eyebrows the way they were. Well, you'll like them better this way. So, um, does Zach know that Sarah's going out with Cam? Ow! Yeah, but he's not worried. Cam said he's not interested in Sarah. Isn't human nature just fascinating? I mean, I thought that Sarah might be going out with Cam just to make Zach jealous. Really? I mean, you think she would do that? Of course. It can be a very effective tactic. So, we've established that Sarah doesn't like Cam and you're not interested in Vernon, so you wouldn't by any chance like Cam, would you? Cam? <laughs> no, no, that's impossible. <laughs> Ow! Sorry, it's just I don't think that anything's impossible in relationships. Ow! Okay, no, there is nothing going on between us, I swear it. Just checking. Because, you see, I kind of like Cam. You like Cam? A lot. But you won't go out with him. I'm kind of waiting for him to mature a little bit because if we started dating now, we'd just end up breaking up and that could ruin any future we could possibly have together. You think that far ahead? Of course. I think that planning is very important in boy-girl relationships. Don't you? Yeah, I guess. Um, another thing, please don't tell Zach that I like Cam. He'd just end up telling Cam and that would stroke his ego and... Don't worry, I won't tell him. You can trust me. Thanks. Are you, um, done with those? Oh, yeah. Now we just have to do your mustache. Do you really have to do that? I'm documenting a spontaneous transgender metamorphosis. I'm just touching up my makeup. Yeah, how'd you learn to do that? One taught me a few things. Did she tell you anything interesting? Like, about me? No. No, not really. 
Here goes nothing. What's the big deal? You know, if you were wearing these, you Neanderthal. Listen, Zena. Zach. I know you're mad that I'm going with Sarah. But think of the opportunities. Look, you touch her and you're dead meat, understand? What opportunities? You can have a girl-to-girl -girl chat with her. Find out how she really feels about you. It is a unique vantage point. I guess. So, can you tell me how it feels? How what feels? To be a girl, how is it different? Well, you want to know the biggest difference? Guys seem a lot more stupid now. Don't you love my dad's club, Zena? It's the most exclusive in the city. I thought we were getting pizza. Your wish is my command. Voila! The Mantiful Special. It's pizza smothered in caviar and filet mignon. Don't you have pepperoni? Kim, could you please move over a little bit? You're blocking my view. Of what? Of the view. My office has an amazing view of the park. We can sit and watch all the losers walk by below. Vernon, you're so boring. I'm the best catch in the school. If you like fish. <sighs> Chill, Romeo. Are you okay? Fine. Just thought Vernon needed some cooling down. <laughs> Can I ask you a question about Zach? Sure. Doesn't he like me anymore? Of course he does. Why? It's like he disappeared. I thought if I saw you tonight, you'd at least tell me what's going on. Is that really why you came? Yeah, why else? So how is he? He's fine. I, I, mean, I mean, he's really sick. No one's allowed near him. Well, he could at least call or return my calls. He lost his voice. He can't even whisper. But I know he likes you a lot. Well, I like him too. But he worries. He wonders what he could do to make you like him more. Well, what do you mean? Just exactly what he could do to make you happy. Well, there is something. The most important thing. But I really shouldn't say it. No, no, no. Come on. If he could just do this, it would totally knock me dead. Go on, go on. Is something wrong with your nails? Um, cheap nail polish. Please, you were saying? If he would just... Is your hair getting shorter? No. No, I, I knew I shouldn't have gotten that perm. You were saying the most important thing is... It's really simple, Zena. Tell me. I just really wish he would... Zach? I thought you were homesick. I am. I mean, I was. <laughs> but I'm better now. I missed you. What happened to Zena? Oh, she suddenly had to leave. And what are you doing in the girls' washroom? I must have taken a wrong turn. I'm glad I did, though. Me too. You want to ditch these guys and uh, go somewhere else? Because, um, technically, I'm not supposed to be here. Zach Fowl, 8920 Gender Bender Dash Nail Polish. Zach Greenberg had an opportunity of a lifetime. He turns into a girl and ends up at a pajama party. How totally cool is that? Will he share the details? For some reason, no. I guess I was just too much mantiful for her to handle. Poor girl. She has no idea what she's missing. <laughs> What's so funny, Sharp? I'm being serious. I really miss Zena. She was so different and really, really nice. 
A bit of a slobby dresser, though. She couldn't seem to keep her shirt tucked in. I was this close to telling Zena my biggest secret wish. Close call. That would be pretty dangerous information if it ever got leaked. Using this stuff once in a while could give you a distinct advantage in the war between the sexes. Not that I need an advantage. But still, it would be pretty cool to go to a pajama party sometime. I was this close to unlocking the secret to Sarah's heart. Maybe I'm better off not knowing. I guess all I really learned how to do was how to put on makeup. How useless is that? This case contains one secret of the Zag files I will take to my grave. The information is so unsettling that I didn't have the heart to tell Zach himself. He was a babe. <laughs>